Hallelujah. This is the day the Lord God has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Say, now I beseech thee, O Lord, I beseech thee. Send now prosperity. Hallelujah. This is Apostle Karen Proctor. Hallelujah. Come on and approach the throne of grace with me just for uh, mm, a few minutes as we... Uh, just pray for a few, amen. There are some things that uh, just laid on my heart to pray for. Some people um, that's on my heart to pray for, amen. And while I've, I feel it fresh, there are some prayer requests that I've been given to pray for as well, amen. Hallelujah. So I just want to uh, take this time, glory be to God, just to touch and agree with a few people in prayer. Hallelujah. We know that there is nothing impossible to those that believe. So if you are a believer in prayer today, glory be to God, I just want you to come and touch and agree with me. It don't take a whole bunch of people. Hallelujah. It only take two people. Amen. Hallelujah. The power of agreement to pray. In fact, the Bible say where two or three are gathered in the name of the Lord, there he is in the midst. Glory be to God. So I just want to uh, come boldly before the throne of grace as Hebrews chapter 4 and 16 says, come boldly before the throne of grace. Glory be to God that we may find uh, grace and mercy in our hour of need. So even on this second day of the week, well, really third day because it's Tuesday, Sunday starts the first day of the week on this eight day hallelujah of this 12 month glory be to god we just want to pray hallelujah we just want to uh put satan to flight glory be to god just know that satan is a defeated foe no matter what you are going through so we come boldly before the throne of grace in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah using the authority and the power hallelujah that god has given us the bible says that one can chase a thousand and two can chase ten thousand and so as long as we have enough people hallelujah touching in agreeing we are here to put satan to flight this morning we command him to take his flight and flee to to take his hands off of God people. We give God all the, the praise, the honor, and the glory because it belongs to him. All the praise, all the honor, all the glory belong to him. God bless you. Thank you for watching with me. Thank you for tuning in with me. If you don't mind, go ahead and share out this broadcast to your friends. Uh, tag a friend. Share it on your page. Put it on your timeline. Start a watch party. Hallelujah. More prayer, more power. If you have a prayer request, you can go ahead and put your prayer request up there as well. I want to touch and agree with you today. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Give me a second. I'm trying to share it a minute. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I just want to remind you today that there is absolutely, absolutely nothing too hard for God. No matter what you may be going through, no matter what you may be facing. Come on. Hallelujah. There is absolutely nothing too hard for God. Got a lot of prayer petitions here. Glory be to God. One of the prayer petitions that I have. Hallelujah. Sister that suffered uh, a stroke. Glory be to God, asking God to give her back her speech, give to give her back her mobility in her body. Hallelujah. Then again, I want to pray for, got a few uh, situations going on with the children in school. You know that most children are being homeschooled now, and it's become a little difficult, a little challenging for them. A lot of children are breaking down because they can't 
take the pressure of just sitting in front of the computer all day long and, and parents are breaking down because some of them have to work from home and also try to tend to their children at the same time. A lot of parents have lost their jobs and people are just going through. Hallelujah. People are going through with their automobiles breaking down on them. Uh, some people don't have the money to pay their rent. Uh, some people is still waiting on a, another stimulus check. It's just so much that is going on. But I tell you, hallelujah, when we put our faith in God together, when we link up our faith in God together, hallelujah, God is able to move mountains on your behalf. I want to read you two passages of scriptures and we go, we will pray. Hallelujah. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 13 say, Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all, hallelujah, stand. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I thank God for this powerful word. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. That you may be able to stand in this evil day. And we know that the days are evil. Come on. Hallelujah. But God tell us through his word to stand. After we have done all that we can do, he says stand. And 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 4 says, For the weapon of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Come on. Hallelujah. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exhort itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Hallelujah. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to stand on the word of God, even in the midst of all of this dysfunction. Glory be to God. We're going to do, after we have done everything that we could possibly do in the natural, we're going to stand. Hallelujah because we know that God is coming through for his people like a wrecking ball. No matter what you may be going through, you may have, hallelujah, something going on in your body, but I want you to know that Jesus is still yet a healer. In spite of what the doctor reports say, Jesus is still a healer. So we're praying for healing this morning. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. We come before you in the mighty name of Jesus. We come thanking you for divine healing this morning, oh God. You know where your people need to be healed this morning, Lord God. Father, you are the maker of our body. You made man and you blowed your breath into us and we became a living soul. Lord, we have your breath in us, Father. You say that you made us after your likeness and in your image, oh God. You say that we are wonderfully and fearfully made. And so God, we stand upon your word today. We know that your word don't return unto you void. It go into the places in which you sent it, and it does the things in which you please it to do. And Father, we thank you for divine healing this morning, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you for healing your people, oh God, in spite of what the doctor reports say, from the crowns of their head to the soles of their feet, God. We thank you for healing even in the aftermath, oh God. Father, we thank you for healing from sugar diabetes be this stroke, kidney failure, Lord God, lung failure, any manner of cancer, Lord God, whatever it is, oh God, diseases that's undiagnosed, oh God, Father, we thank you right now, hallelujah, Lord God, you are a heavy load bearer, Lord God, you are the great physician, Lord God, you know how to put your people back together again, Lord God, only thing we need right now, God, is one touch from you, Father. Father, and it will make everything all right, Lord God. We know that you specialize us, oh God. We thank you right now, God. We thank you, Father. We thank you for healing that brother, oh God, that need healing, Father.
Father. We thank you for healing that sister that need healing in her body this morning, Lord God. That one that is going for corrective surgery, Father, for their eyesight, Lord God. That one that have a problem in their hearing, Lord God. That one is going for the stick in their heart, oh God. Oh, Father, we thank you today, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that you are mighty. You are a great God. Father, we thank you today, Father. Father, we even lift up that one that their faith is failing because of what they see, Lord God. Hallelujah, because of what they hear, Lord God. Father, we pray that you would take us higher today, God. Higher, higher, higher in you, God. Higher in our faith, Lord God, that our faith would not fail us in this season, oh God, that our faith would not fail us this day, Father, in spite of the news, oh God, in spite of the condition, Lord God, in spite of what may be going on in the world, Lord God. Father, like Ephesians 6 and 13 says, hallelujah, that when we put on the whole armor of God, after we have done everything that we can do, Father, we stand today. We stand in the power and in the might of Almighty God. We're not standing in our own faith. We stand in the power, hallelujah, in Almighty God. Father, we thank you that our faith is bigger than the size of a mustard seed. Lord, we believe you today, God. We thank you that our faith is going to another level in you. Father, we thank you that our faith is being activated even on the journey, Father, no matter what it is, oh God. Father, we, our hope is in you. Our faith is in you today, God. We know that you turn difficult situations around. And so, Father, we praise you in the middle of it, God. We praise you in spite of it, oh God. Father, we thank you right now, Father. We thank you that you you are too wise to make any mistakes, oh God. There is no mistake in you, Father. God, we thank you today, Father. We thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Even in the midst of the dysfunction, that you give us the unction to function. Yes, Lord God, we thank you right now for you giving us the unction to function in our families, in our businesses, oh God. Hallelujah. Even in our ministries, oh God. Hallelujah. Even in our relationships, oh God. Father, it is your unction that keeps us functioning, oh God. Father, we realize to know that we cannot do nothing without you, oh God. It is in you that we live and we move and we have our being today, oh God. We praise you, oh God. We give you the highest praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh God, we love you today, oh God. We love you today, God. We lift up the little children today, oh God. Hallelujah. That some are having a hard time, oh God. Hallelujah. Sitting at the computer to do their work, oh God. Hallelujah. Some of their little attention spans, oh God. Hallelujah. It's just not up to par, oh God. Oh God, we pray. Hallelujah. Your divine protection around all of these little children, oh God. Father, we pray that you would strengthen them on every weak and lean inside, oh God. Father, we pray that you will be to them what they need in this season, oh God. Hallelujah, Lord God. We pray today, God, for them, Father. We lift them up today, God. We lift up the teachers today, God. Father, we pray that you would give them the unction to function, oh God, in these difficult times, hallelujah, in cyber uh, schooling and even in the classroom, hallelujah, God. We lift up the teachers, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, that they will stand, oh God, in the midst of all that they are going through, Lord God. Even those teachers that do not know you in the pardon of their sin, oh God. Father, we pray that you will quicken, hallelujah, your spirit, hallelujah, in their life, oh God. Father, we pray for a refreshing, hallelujah, in your people's lives, oh God. Father, we thank you, Lord God, hallelujah. Lord God, we thank you because we know that the weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal. Father, we thank you for the blood of Jesus as a weapon today against the enemy. We plead the blood of Jesus over our lives. We plead the blood of Jesus over our families, over everything that concerns us. We plead the blood of Jesus in our uh, sphere of influence. We plead the blood of Jesus over our communities, over our neighborhoods, over our 
ministries. We plead the blood of Jesus over our names, over our date of birth. We plead the blood over our going out and coming in. Father, we pray that you will put your super upon our natural today, oh God. Father, we thank you today, God. We thank you for your word today as a weapon, oh God. Father, we thank you that your word, oh God, hallelujah, don't return unto you a uh, void. We thank you that your word has piercing power. Lord, when we call upon your word, oh God, we know that you're going to activate it in our lives and in our families, oh God, and in our situations, oh God. Father, we thank you for your word today, oh God. Hallelujah, Lord God. We stand on your word today, God. Your word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our pathway, Father. We thank you today, God. Father, we thank you that as we get into the word and study the word, oh God, that it will bring illumination in our life, oh God. Hallelujah, Lord God. We ask that you would give us more revelation, more clarity, more insight in your word today, God. Father, we thank you today that your word is sharper than any two-edged sword. It pierced down to the bones, to the marrow, to the dividing asunder. Father, we activate the word of God over our life. We activate the promises of God over our life. Father, we thank you today that your promises are yea and amen. Father, we thank you today, Father. God, we thank you today, Father. Oh, God, we thank you that you give us power, hallelujah, to pull down the strongholds today. Whatever stronghold that Satan bring our way today, hallelujah, that will try to keep us in bondage, we pull it down in the name of Jesus. We deactivate every chain, every cord, every feather, every lie of the enemy. We deactivate you. We deactivate your assignment. We plead the blood of Jesus against you. You cannot work. You will not work. Every diabolical attack of the enemy that come up against our children, our grandchildren, even in our life, even with our siblings, even over our nieces and nephews, all those, hallelujah, hallelujah, that's a part of our life. We deactivate, hallelujah, the cords, the chains, the feather, the lies of the enemy from their life in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you today that we are overcomers today. We overcome through the blood of Jesus. We overcome by the blood of Jesus and the words of our testimony. And we love not our life unto death. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you that the blood of Jesus is still working. Father, we thank you for our great testimony that you saved us. You sanctified us. You brought us from the miry clay and you placed our feet on the rock to stay. And that rock is Jesus. And Father, we don't look back. We forget those things that are behind and we press towards the mark of the high calling today. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Hallelujah. That we are not what we used to be. Father, we thank you that we are going higher in you. We are going deeper in you. Father, we thank you that you lavish us with your love. You brought us to the, your banquet room and you put your banner over us in love. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you today that we feel your awesome love today. We thank you that you are Jehovah Jireh. You are our provider. You provide for us day and night. Whatever we need, Father, you say that you will give us this day our daily bread. And Father, we thank you today. We praise you today. We bless you today. We honor you in our life today. We honor you, oh God, in every way possible, even in our giving today, Father, that as we come and give, oh God, hallelujah unto you, Father, as we give our tithe and our offerings, oh God, hallelujah, Lord God, we know that you're going to open up the windows of heaven, pour us out blessings that we don't have room enough to receive. Father, we thank you that your promise is that you're going to rebuke the devour for our sake, that, uh, that the canker worm, the palmer worm, the locust, hallelujah, will not be able to eat up our seed today, God. Father, we thank you today, God. We ask you to strengthen us for the journey, Father. Hallelujah. This journey that you have us on, oh God. Hallelujah. That we won't look to the left nor to the right, oh God. But we will look 
ever to you, the author and the finisher of our faith, oh God. We pray today, Father, to hear your clarion voice saying, this is the way, walk in it today. Oh God, Father, we thank you that the Lord is our shepherd, we shall not want, that you are leading us down a right path. Father, we thank you today. We praise you today, oh God. We we just lift up all those that are on our prayer list, oh God. The elderly, the sick, and the shut in, oh God. God. Oh God, we ask you, oh God, to continue to be with them. Oh God, even in this uh, late part of their life, oh God, you know about those, oh God, hallelujah, that are near and dear to me, near and dear to us, oh God, hallelujah, like David said, I once was young, but now I'm old. I've never seen the righteous forsaken, neither their seed begging bread. Father, we thank you today, God. We thank you today, Father. Oh Oh God, we pray, Father God, for the caregivers, hallelujah, that you will give them strength, strength like no other, in the mighty name of Jesus, strength like no other, as they are caring for the feeble, hallelujah, glory be to God, ikata lobo shando robo, sante randi di koraba, shande de koraba, God, that you will give them the strength, that you will give them the patience, that you will give them the love, as they care for the feeble, as they care for the elderly, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus, strengthen them, oh God, oh God, we thank you today, we lift up all those that are incarcerated today, incarcerated in their minds today. We bind up every mind-binding power, and we command you to loose God's people, loose God's people in the mighty name of Jesus, and we loose the mind of God. We loose the mind of God. Father, we thank you today. All those that we are believing you for, God, that are having issues in their mind, issues in their heart, that are struggling, hallelujah, Hallelujah, with mental uh, illnesses, mental breakdowns. Oh God, we plead the blood of Jesus over them and we pray the mind of Christ over them. Oh God, like you say, let this mind be in us, which was also in Christ Jesus. You say, who have the mind of Christ? But we have the mind of Christ. And so Father, we decree and declare, Father, the mind of Christ, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Isaiah say, he that keep his mind stayed on thee is kept in perfect peace and so father we pray today that we will keep our mind stayed upon you no matter what we are going through no matter what the hacklers come to do in our life to hackle us oh god we bind that spirit in the mighty name of jesus and we say fire on you fire on you in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Father, we pray that you would arise in our lives and every enemy be scattered. May the enemy of the Lord burn as wax in the presence of the Lord. Father, we thank you, Father, that you're giving back us, giving us back our strength, our stamina in the Holy Ghost that we will run on to see what the end may be. Lord God, we even as we close out this prayer, we lift up all those on the front line, Father God, even, hallelujah, front line in ministry, oh God, as we lift up all the other people, oh God, Father, I lift up all of the ministry warriors, oh God, hallelujah, that we will not become weary and well-doing, but that we will run on, run on, run on, hallelujah, give us a fresh anointing, oh God, that we may continue to run this race for you, oh God. You know all of those ministers that I am connected to, God. I pray today, God, that you will give them fresh fire. Give us fresh fire, oh God, that we will run on, oh God, that we will not be weary, oh God. Oh God, I pray for all those that are on the front line. Hallelujah. The police officers, the correction officers, the probation officers, the sheriffs, the highway patrol officers, the security officers. God, we lift them up before your throne of grace. God, we pray that you will have mercy upon them. We lift up all those in the military
military in this United States military, oh God, our land soldiers, air soldiers, foot soldiers, sea soldiers, Lord, we lift them up, oh God, as they protect the borders and the coasts, the perimeters of this country, Lord God, we pray that you will protect them and we annihilate the enemy, hallelujah, from them now, hallelujah, God, we thank you right now, God. We lift up, hallelujah, the health care workers, oh God. Hallelujah, the doctors, the nurses, oh God. Hallelujah, the x-ray technicians, the phlebotomists, the cleaners, oh God. Hallelujah, those that serve the food, God. Those that work in administration, Father. We lift them all up before your throne of grace, Father. God, we pray that you will move, move by your spirit, hallelujah, in their life today, Father. God, we thank you today, Father. We ask that you will be gracious towards us today. Be gracious towards your people today, God. Have mercy upon us today, Lord God. Father, we pray that you will move in our government today from the president, the vice president, the senate, the legislator, the congress, oh God, hallelujah, the mayors, the governors, oh God, the commissioners. Father, we thank you today that the government is upon your shoulders today, God. We plead the blood of Jesus over the government today, Father, and I humble myself under your mighty hand, Lord God. I thank you, oh God, hallelujah, that your ear is attentive to my prayer. Father, I thank you for the results of this prayer, oh God. Father, I thank you that yokes are being destroyed, shackles are being loose, burdens are being removed, Oh, God, I thank you, Father. God, I praise you. Oh, God, I magnify your name today, Father. Oh, God, I thank you. Lord, I thank you for this time that you allow me to come before your throne of grace, Father, to lift up these prayer petitions unto you, Father. I thank you for hearing me. I thank you for answering me, oh, God. Father, I thank you for the blessings of Abraham this day. Lord, I thank you. I thank you that surely your goodness and mercy will follow us all the days of our life. We walk in the blessings of the Lord. Father, we thank you today. We thank you today. Hallelujah, that Satan and his imps are a defeated foe. Father, we thank you today. Strengthen us, oh God, that we will go today and do what you have called us to do. Oh God, we thank you that the angels, hallelujah, glory be to God, and camp round about those that fear him. Lord, we thank you today. Lord, we thank you for dispatching your ministering spirits, oh God. They hearken unto your voice, oh God. Oh God, we thank you today. We praise you today. God, we thank you for this great day. In Jesus' holy name, I pray, amen and amen. Hallelujah. Well, God bless you. God bless you, Vanita Smith. God bless you, Denise Marshall. God bless you to all those that will come. Hallelujah. And join this prayer by replay. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Whatever it is you need, whatever it is you face with. Hallelujah. Whatever answer. Hallelujah. You're looking for today. I want you to put your trust and your hope in God, no matter. Hallelujah. What the enemy has said to you today. Hallelujah. It is a lie. It is a lie. God have big plans for you. Hallelujah. Like he told Jeremiah, I know the plans that I have for you. Plans to bless you. Hallelujah. Not of evil, not of harm, but to give you an expected end. And I believe that God is saying the same thing to his people today. Hallelujah. God have big time plans for us. No matter what the uh, pandemic is saying. Hallelujah. No matter what COVID-19 is doing. Hallelujah. We rest in the arms of the Lord. We rest. Hallelujah. In his safety, in his care. Hallelujah. We rest in the Lord today. Hallelujah. He's able to make all grace abound towards us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Beloved, this is Apostle Karen Proctor. If this is your first time to this page, I'm going to ask you to subscribe. This is our prayer page where we come. Hallelujah. And lift up the petitions of others where we come to stand in the gap. Hallelujah. Believe in God. Hallelujah. For supernatural turnaround. Hallelujah. That he will put his super upon our natural. Amen. So 
If you are a person of prayer, you can go ahead and subscribe to this page. Amen. Hallelujah. And if you have a prayer request, you can put it up there and we will be honored to pray for you as well. So God bless you and make it a, a great day. Bye for now.